Hello friends, welcome to our channel Knowledge Amplifier. So today in my this particular video, I am going to discuss one very important interview question related to machine learning or data science. Okay, and that question is whether feature scaling is required before applying principal component analysis or not. Okay, so pause my video and try to think about the answer and the logic. Okay, based on the concepts, the mathematical or theoretical intuition whatever I have discussed the visualization the programming part whatever I have discussed in my previous video okay so think for a while here I am explaining the correct answer okay so before going ahead with this answer let me give you a quick recap what this PCA is all about the main goal of PCA is to reduce the number of dimension or to remove the effect of curse of dimensionality right now it will reduce the features in such a way that it retains most of the information of the features in its principal components and how this is achieved if you recall I have already discussed this one that here this is this one is my previous video principal component analysis intuition in the machine learning playlist I have discussed that suppose this real data points are scatter plot of my two features very uh, variable 1 and variable 2 okay now the main goal in PCA is try to find out the line on which if we project our data we will be getting maximum variance because if we able to find such line the, that will basically uh, keep the maximum amount of information because maximum variance that means maximum information we are getting from that okay so this in this case the two dimensional data we tried to convert to one dimension and then uh, with that aim we try to find out that line which uh, on which if we project our this two dimensional scatter plot we will be getting maximum variance like here we tested with this line this line this vertical line and among different combination it is quite clear that if we get this kind of line which is like this kind of in diagonal pattern okay and then if we project our data it contains the maximum variance so we consider this one as our first first principal component and the second principal component will be obviously orthogonal to this one right that is this first principal component that is the second principal component will look like this so the moral of this story is PCA plays with variance okay variance is a very important factor in the computation of this particular dimensionality reduction algorithm right and also I have discussed when I have uh, in this video when I have discussed this one understand and interpret the result of PCA in MATLAB so we have this kind of data and then uh, we found out that if instead of projecting like this X and Y that is this space if we project our data in this particular way that time we can easily do dimensionality reduction because here we can understand that in along this particular direction maximum amount of information is stored okay so if we consider our principal components like this way u1 and u2 so what will happen if we project all the data points on u1 vector it will be having maximum information and if we project the uh, data points on u2 vector that will basically act like kind of noise because along u2 you can understand the uh, variation of the data is very less okay right so with all this what I wanted to show you that the variation or variance of data is very important right now let me go to the answer okay so here so I, I, I have already discussed up to this now an important note uh, that the principal components are orthogonal to each other in the vector space which is quite obvious I have discussed that uh, one principal component should be orthogonal to all other principal components right like this way you have to compute now you just consider this particular data this y axis is suppose distance in meter okay and the x along this x axis the distance is me measured along centimeter so as the distance in x axis is me measured along centimeter so obviously this kind of data pattern will be getting because this y direction is in meter so the, as both are not in proper scale so along y direction we cannot expect huge span right and eventually we will be getting this kind of data now if you directly apply PCA on this what might happen that uh, your uh, particular 
uh, inbuilt function whether you are applying python or r or matlab whatever will understand that okay along this direction we are getting maximum variance okay right and the second principal component will be along this direction right okay now this is what is happening with respect to this particular data without applying feature scaling but this is one problem because these two data are not in same scale and as a result we are doing this kind of mistakes but actually this should be in centimeter this should be in centimeter then only proper scatter plot will be getting like this one and then we can understand that okay this uh, along this direction okay along this direction the variance is maximum so this will be my first principal component and this will be my second principal component along which we will be getting uh, uh, the uh, second maximum variance right now both are converted either to centimeter or both are converted either to meter right and because here we are playing with variance so you need to make both data into same scale then only you can understand that when you are projecting your data on a line how you can uh, get the maximum variance otherwise by mistake you might interpret that this one is first principal component but we have seen actually when we are uh, converting them to same scale actually the principal components itself got changed and i hope this particular concept has given you the intuition that their feature scaling is required for implementing pca right and now you tell me whether normalization is required or standardization is required very simple here in pca we want to make both same scale such that th those will be having unit variance initially and then we will be finding the uh, maximum variance along a particular uh, line okay using pca algorithm so here we need to do feature scaling such that the variance part will be will become same for both the variables so obviously no doubt standardization that is x minus mu by uh, standard deviation of x okay so when you are applying this standardization what is happening you are converting your that particular input feature or column to variation of variance of one or standard deviation one okay and as a result that time uh, getting the principal components will be correct one justifiable right so i hope this intuition is clear to you you have got the idea that why feature scaling is required and which uh, feature scaling technique we need to use this is all for my this video please keep this concept in mind because this is going to help you in implementing pca in real time projects or in interview process so if you find this video helpful then please like share and comment subscribe my channel if you have not subscribed till now and don't forget to press the bell icon to get the notification of my latest videos thank you